it's Monday again and I'm back with some more chocolate and this time we are going to be melting the chocolate. A pool of well melted shiny chocolate is always a pleasure and uh, if the chocolate is not well melted then it can impact the texture and the taste of your uh, cake or your uh, cookies or brownies. We know that chocolate is a tricky thing to melt and uh, sometimes the chocolate gets seized up and then it can be a real nightmare and this I'm telling you of course from my experience. Now chocolate can be melted either in a microwave or also over a double boiler and both of them work well and they have their advantages and disadvantages too. And today we shall see another easy way uh, which is recommended by none other than Alice Medridge, a really easy way to melt chocolate. And this is something you could safely try even if you have never melted chocolate before. Of course, down the line, as you experiment, um, you will figure out what's the best way you prefer to melt chocolate and then you could stick to that. So before we melt the chocolate, a few pointers again from Alice Medrich. Yes, I really love the lady. Chocolate should always be melted uncovered and at low temperatures always. We need the chocolate to be warm and never hot. The chocolate should never come in contact with any kind of moisture unless the recipe specifies and most of the times it's a compatible amount of liquid that is given in the recipe. So make sure everything that comes in contact with the chocolate, uh, your cutting board, the knife, uh, uh, the bowl, your spatula and everything else you use uh, for the chocolate is really clean and completely dry, free of moisture. Any moisture will cause the chocolate to seize up and turn it into one lumpy mass which you really won't find appealing. And for this we need some chocolate and uh, the chocolate needs to be chopped up as fine as you can and uh, you could also put it in the uh, food processor uh, and process it fine uh, because the smaller the pieces of the chocolate then the chocolate will melt faster. Please do not use chocolate chips as they are designed not to melt. So we are going to be taking uh, this chocolate in this uh, dry saucepan and I am taking a tallish one. my spatula is dry and uh, now we have some uh, water in this uh, white skillet and I have taken a white skillet because once I place this saucepan into the water I want to be able to see the level of the water around the chocolate and again uh, you do not want too much of water in this uh, skillet because once you place the saucepan into the water you do not want the water to splash into the chocolate and now I'm going to be heating this water and uh, bring it to a bare simmer. We do not want it to start boiling. Keep the heat low. So now the water is uh, barely simmering and uh, now I need to gently lower this saucepan into this water. I need to be careful that the water doesn't splash into the chocolate when I'm placing it. This saucepan needs to sit in the water, not over the water. Now you need to constantly stir this and when you're stirring the chocolate, you are mixing the warmest pieces of chocolate with the other pieces so that they also start melting. You need to keep on stirring this till most of the chocolate is melted and then take this off the heat and then stir to melt the rest of the chocolate. Now isn't this fairly smooth and quite revolutionary also and if at any point of time the water in the saucepan starts boiling then you need to immediately take the uh, saucepan off the heat. The advantage of this method is that unlike in a microwave you can see the chocolate and you can see what's happening to the chocolate. Another advantage of this method is that you could melt really small quantities of chocolate uh, using a much smaller saucepan of course, otherwise most of the chocolate will be uh, grabbed by your saucepan. This method also works well when you need to melt chocolate and butter together. Mm -hmm. 
and if the worst comes to the worst and you do have a mass of some lumpy seized up chocolate on your hands then you would need to start afresh if your recipe needs melted chocolate and do not worry about that lumpy mass of chocolate chocolate is still chocolate you could mix it with some hot milk or cream uh, or a mixture of milk and cream and then have it as a drink i hope you'll try this method and once you try please do not forget to leave a comment for me also do tell me what you would like to watch on cakes and more lots more recipes and tips coming up on cakes and more please subscribe please stay tuned